A STATE LAWMAKER SAYS HE'S HAD QUESTIONS ABOUT THE PUBLIC SAFETY DEPARTMENT'S POLICIES EVEN BEFORE THE RECENT FATAL SHOOTINGS BY STATE SHERIFFS. THAT INCLUDES THE OLD TRIPLE-C INMATE SHOT AND KILLED AFTER ESCAPING FRIDAY. SARAH MADISON FOLLOWS UP FOR US TONIGHT. SARAH? Kathy, this is the second fatal shooting just weeks apart involving the Public Safety Department. Because 47 year old Maurice Arisgado Jr. was shot and killed, one legislator is bringing into light the topic of using non lethal weapons. Officials say 47 year old Maurice Arisgado Jr. ran through both an open door and an open gate Friday night when he was waiting to be rehoused at Oahu Community Correctional Center after a court appearance. Officials caught up to him roughly two blocks away. Arisgado was shot just outside of St. Anthony Church on Pu'uhale Road. Well, first of all, escape is a major mistake. Those things don't just happen. Um, as you might expect, we're very early into the investigation, and it will be uh, both criminal by HPD and uh, administrative by my staff. Uh, the administrative investigation will look into every detail. Senator Clarence Nishihara, Public Safety Committee Chair, tells us there are a number of questions the department needs to answer. They have to ask, number one is, one, how was that process didn't, didn't work as it should because they bring in people all the time. The latest fatal shootings, including a sheriff shooting at the state capitol less than two weeks ago, have also put into question the use of non-lethal weapons. Because I guess they couldn't run up and to get a hold of them. So that raises the issue that um, at what distance was he shot, uh, you know, and uh, was it a distance where you could, they could have used um, maybe a taser? Again, you know, they don't have tasers. And the question is, why don't they? And it's not an issue that they should be unaware of, that the, guard, uh, that the sheriffs need to have some other systems of uh, handling uh, not lethally uh, to uh, detain someone. Senator Nishihara says he's contemplating on possibly holding a hearing. To open up these questions and then get uh, people to come forward and um, to uh, answer to the best of their ability the questions we have. Now, Senator Nishihara also thinks public safety officials need to wear body cameras to keep the system open and honest. Kathy, back to you.